Hi chipmunks, this is Erica. I really miss you. I'm happy that you get to join us for me for a story today. We're going to read Hedgehogs, Hedgehogs. Horace and Hattie are the very best of friends. There are so many things they like to do together. They like to search for four leaf clovers in the meadow. They like to make daisy chains in the shade of the old oak tree. They like to splash in puddles on the lawn. And sometimes they like to have a tea party by the river. When Horace is busy, Hattie puts on her tutu and dances in the bluebells. When Hattie is busy, Horace searches for spiders in the woods. Horace and Hattie are the very best of friends, but there is one thing they cannot do together. They cannot hug. They are just too spiky. They have tried lots of ways to hug. In the winter, they rolled in the snow until it covered all their quills, but the hug was too cold. In the spring, they found some old hollow logs. Horace and Hattie squeezed inside, but the hug was too bumpy. In the summer, they stuck strawberries on their spikes, but the hug was too sticky. In the autumn, they covered their quills in crunchy, crispy leaves, but the hug was too scratchy. Poor Horace and Hattie. Then one day, they found something very interesting. It was soft. Was it a hat? Horace decided to investigate. He wriggled and jiggled and nibbled. Then out, he popped. Hattie thought Horace looked very funny. Then she had an idea. Hattie looked at Horace. Horace looked at Hattie. They moved closer and closer and closer until oh, they hugged. The hug was just right. Not too cold, not too scratchy, not sticky and not bumpy. It was warm and soft and cuddly and comfy. A perfect hedgehog. So the next time you see someone wearing mismatched socks or one of your socks goes missing, you know what it means. A hedge hug has happened. And since I can't hug you, here is a virtual hug just for you. Mwah.